I see this game has a lot of victim content, but not much for the killers. I feel like people in this game just don't really know what they are doing as killers. So today I thought, let's give players some tips on how to play better. If these tips helped you, drop a like and subscribe and let's begin. Well, shit. Stop rushing basement. A lot of players still don't know when it is okay to rush basement. You're only allowed to rush basement if the survivors haven't opened a basement door. You will mainly know this if you come out of the your killer intro and it shows grandpa has awoken and you see noise in the basement. Only then you are allowed to rush basement. But if you see a door open while being in the basement, you better get the f upstairs. Remember to lock your doors. I have no idea why but I still run into players leaving doors unlocked and it blows my mind. So for those killers out there, please if there is a door animation to unlock the door, that also means the lock hasn't been broken. So you will have to turn around and lock the door. Are you stupid or something? Trap placement. Best advice on trap placements I could give you is you want to place them in positions that would obstruct a player in chase. But if you are uncertain on where to place traps, it is always best to trap objectives and doors. Wasting time in basement. A lot of players land up wasting too much time in basement. When grandpa is awake, it is best to stay upstairs and draw the objectives. If you are a leather face and you don't have anyone in front of you and you don't know where they are, it is best to head upstairs and help the team. Leather face is the strongest killer. When looking for victims, it is always best to keep your chainsaw revved. That way when you find someone, you can unleash Bubba's strongest attack. Lean into killer strengths. If you are playing a character like Leatherface, it's always best to run perks that increase his damage. This will lead to one-shotting players and getting them out of the game faster. Scout and Fired Up are the best movement killer perk. There is nothing more stronger than a perk that makes you run 15% faster and a perk that can keep you running for almost forever. Scout increases your movement speed by 15% and Fired Up gives you 90% less delay in stamina regeneration. Nancy isn't as strong as players make her out to be. Nancy has been given a nasty perk that everyone, including myself, hates so much, but with that being said a lot of players play her like she's hitchhiker which is just wrong. Nancy shines at best when she's holding a certain area down or when she's supporting her teammates. Johnny is the second strongest killer. Believe it or not, but Johnny is second to strongest by Leatherface. A lot of players would disagree with this since he's easily countered through crawl spaces and wall caps. But a good Johnny player can still take down a survivor in this sort of environment. And not only that, but Johnny can easily destroy someone when they are running out in the open. Tearing down doors. On the family house, it's always best to barge the doors down. By doing this, you're not giving the victims the opportunity to door slam you and prolong chases inside the house. If you're playing Johnny, barging doors is much faster. Leatherface is chainsaw miss. I have no idea why this happens, but for some reason, even though you're right in front of the survivor, you can miss your chainsaw revved hit. Not to worry though, the best advice I can give you is you want to be close to the survivor as much as possible before smashing them with the chainsaw. The game does have an aim assist that will only work if you are super close to the other player. So get close and be patient. Survivor baiting. There's a lot of perks that survivors have that can give them an advantage against the family. One that is most notable are the ones that revolve around close encounters. What you are seeing right here on the screen is a survivor trying to bait me into trying to get further into the basement to close encounter me just for him to win and waste my time. There could be multiple reasons reasons for this but if you see this it's always best to just head back upstairs and patrol the objectives. You don't always need more than one grandpa perk. Depending on what your teammates grandpa perk is it's sometimes not always best to bring more than two grandpa perks. If I have a teammate that is running exterior alarms I take away my perk so we can feed grandpa and get that perk first just because that perk is powerful. So he should always feed gramps at least once. If you're playing Sissy and still not running a blood build, you should at least feed grandpa at the beginning of the match due to your character being super high in blood harvesting. Communication. This game is highly dependent on communication with teammates so if you lose a game to poor communication and you have a mic and did not communicate then unfortunately you have no one to blame but yourself. It's always best to communicate and provide information to the team. If you made it this far in the video comment down below and let's try to get this video to 50 likes guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.